Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is all about input. Uh, in this lesson, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do input. Uh, the nice thing is, is doing input is super easy in Python. So let's say I, I make a variable called age and I want to ask your age. Now if, oops, not print, I want input. Input will take whatever I type and hit enter will go inside of this variable. And then I can just type print age and it should print it out. The good news is, is this is all the code you ever would need in order to do input for any type of variable. You can type age, you can put name, whatever is put in here will just stick it straight into this variable. The bad news is, is if I try to run this inside Sublime, so say I run this code, what is your age? So far it looks good. I say 50, I'm not 50. I uh, hit enter, nothing happens. So even if I keep hitting enter, still nothing's happening at all. So this isn't really working out for us. The reason is, is because this window in Sublime, it's not meant for as a command prompt. It's just meant for output. And we could go to the command prompt or terminal window or whatever you're using uh, in earlier in the lessons when we were doing the Python prompt. You could use that, but that means we have to somehow take this code and put it over there. A nicer way would be able to take the command prompt and put it inside Sublime so we don't have to keep switching back and forth between different windows. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. And to do that, you actually use something called the package manager. So the package manager uh, can be found at packagecontrol.io. Okay, so go to this website, packagecontrol.io. Ignore all this mess of text right here and just go to the top right and click installation. Once you've clicked installation, on the left side you'll see Sublime Text 3 and Sublime Text 2. So we're gonna go ahead and copy all of Sublime Text 3 stuff. I'm gonna right click and hit copy or control C, either one of those will work. Then I'm gonna come back over to Sublime Text and I'm gonna go view, show console. And now that I've shown the console, I can actually paste all of that code in there. So you can just right click, paste, or control V, either one works, and then hit enter. And once you hit enter, mine is actually already installed, so it's not gonna actually do anything, but you should see some stuff happening in here, okay? And once you've seen some stuff happening in here, you can then uh, close Sublime, all right, and then you're gonna open it right back up. And when you're done, you should see inside here something that says package control. Okay, so once you've opened it back up, under preferences, package control. And then you can go ahead and click on that, and you'll see a long list of stuff. Now there are tons of packages for Sublime. So later on, if you wanna do C++ or Java or something else, you can come in here and you can install packages that work for a bunch of different languages. You can do HTML, JavaScript, everything in here, and it works really well. So this package control is quite powerful. We want to, in here, look at install packages, and we're gonna type sublime repl, okay, R-E-P-L. And this is gonna help us interpret all the code we want. So it's gonna take this code and it's gonna put it in a console, which is really just gonna be another tab in Sublime. So I'm gonna click this, and when I do, at the bottom, you'll see installing package, and once it's done, it'll be installed. Okay, now, I can save my code again, and I go to Tools, and you, here, now we see Sublime inside here. And now I can actually go to Python, and I can say run current file, and I click that, and now see how it pops up a new window and no longer is it at the bottom, it pops it up there. And if I type 50 again, I hit enter, it prints out 50 and then the REPL is stopped working. And then I can close this window and go back to what I was at before. So that's pretty cool, right? It puts it in there. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's kind of lame. Do I really have to go tools, sublime, Python, run every single time? That seems like a major pain. Why can't I just do control B? Well, we wanna keep control B for when we're not doing input. Uh, so any program you use input, you're gonna to wanna to use this. 
Uh, most programs you probably have uh, later on, you probably won't have a lot of input, uh, maybe input from a file, but not input from the keyboard. In this case though, we can create a shortcut so we don't have to do that every time. So if you go to preferences and key bindings user, this right here is something, once again, I have taken this off the internet. It's not something I made personally, uh, but this is a shortcut that will give us control alt B will run the REPL for Python. And I will put this in the comments on the YouTube video. So you can look in the YouTube video and find this and you can paste this into preferences, key bindings. Yours will be empty when you get here. So just paste your, this in and you'll be good to go. So once this is in, save that file and close it. And once you're back out here, now you can type hold down control, hold down alt, and then press B, and it will pop up the REPL for you, and then you can do it. Now, a shortcut for closing the window so you don't have to use the mouse is control W, and that sends you right back to your program before. Okay? So now that we got the REPL working, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do some other input. So I want to say name is equal to input what is your name and we'll print out something at the end and then we'll say what we'll say uh, favorite color equals input what is your favorite color okay so let's say I want to do all of these and then at the end I want to print out a statement that says uh, name is years old and their favorite color is favorite color. Okay, so there you go. And let's go ahead and use control alt B again. Just practice that and let's do it. What is your age? 40. What is your name? I don't know, Tim. What is your favorite color? Clear. Tim is 40 years old and their favorite color is clear. Okay. So kind of interesting how, oh, these are just highlighted because and and is is uh, their characters in Python that means something. So yeah, you might get some odd coloring in here, but that's because this is thinking, it's, it's formatting the coloring for Python. Don't worry about that. Okay, so, so far, everything looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna add a bonus video into this section to show you some more advanced formatting features. And if you'd like to look at that, feel free. Uh, if not, not really that important. Okay, so I'll add that in later, uh, but for right now, now we're going to get into doing some more of the logical stuff. So we're going to look at if statements, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next section of videos. Okay, so just remember in here, input, super easy. Make sure you have Python, or sorry, Sublime set up so you can control alt B and get to the uh, prompt here. Okay, all right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.